The Independent National Electoral Commission has allayed fears among some stakeholders in Bielsa State that the biomodel voter accreditation system it will deploy on Saturday's uh, off-season governorship election can be faked by some people to rig the process. INEX National Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu stated this while responding to concerns raised by the party chieftains during the election stakeholders meeting on the state governorship polls in Yenogoa. Yakubu, who was represented by INEC National Chairman supervising by Elsa Akwaibom and River States, May Agbamuche Mbu, said the BIVAS machines are customized. The Commission published the National Register of Voters on the 11th of January 2023, which was used for the conduct of the 2023 general election. The same register of voters will be used for the 2023 governorship election in Bayelsi State. The total number of registered voters in Bayelsi State for the governorship election is 1,056,862, 1,056,862 17,613 have collected their PVCs, with only 39,249 PVCs remaining uncollected in the state. We have engaged with a lot of the stakeholders at different times, the political parties particularly, civil society groups, the security agencies, the media, and we've done all that we need to do at this time for the election to come up successfully. We can only look forward to a successful election on Saturday if everyone does their part. And if everyone abides by the laws and the guidelines for this election. 18 political parties that will feature in Saturday's Kogi governorship election have signed the peace accord ahead of the poll. Some of the parties were the All Progressives Congress APC, the People's Democratic Party PDP, the Social Democratic Party SDP, the Labour Party LP and the Action Alliance AA. Others include the New Nigerian People's Party NNPP, the Action Democratic Congress ADC, the People's Redemption Party PRP and the Zenit Labour Party ZLP. Speaking at the ceremony, retired General Abdul Salama Abubakar the chairman of the National Peace Committee appealed to the conscience of the governorship candidates in the state. Abu Bakr, represented by Cardinal John Oneokon, urged the parties to abide by the accord during the election. He said that he was beginning to have serious doubts on the seriousness and commitment on the part of candidates involved in the peace accord. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.